Hello my dolls and welcome to another cello tips and tricks vlog here on the cello doll YouTube channel. Today this video is your part three for your scale cycle exercise for beginner cellists. So if you haven't had a chance to try parts one and two, I will include them here as well as in the description below. So since this is part three, we're gonna make things a little harder than before. We're gonna add some more eighth notes in there. Now before we get to the layout of the exercise, please be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, and to subscribe to the Cello Doll YouTube channel to show your support. If you wanna go above and beyond, I do have a Patreon as well, and you can find that in the description. Either way, I am so glad you are here and that you decided to include myself and Chelly in your practicing. We're your practice buddy for today. We're gonna run through some scales and we're gonna rock it together. So for today's video, we are gonna be playing at 84 beats per minute for our metronome marking. And we are also going to be covering the major keys of C, G, D, F, and new key of B flat major. C and D major are going to be two octaves. If you don't know the two octave version of those scales yet, I would recommend going back to parts one or two for this scale cycle, or you can play just the one octave you know, and then rest for the remainder of that, and then jump in when we move on to the next scale. So here is how the rounds are going to work. Round one is going to be C major, a half note followed by two slurred quarter notes. Then G major adding one sharp. We are going to flip that rhythm and have two slurred quarter notes followed by a half note. Round three is D major and we are going to have a half note followed by four slurred eighth notes. Then F major, we are going to flip that rhythm and have four slurred eighth notes followed by a half note. After that, we are going to be at B flat major, two slurred quarter notes, and then four slurred eighth notes. Then we are going to flip that rhythm when we're back at C major, four slurred eighth notes and two slurred quarter notes. Now, last round, this is part three, my dolls, so I wanted to make it a little harder. We're gonna break the order of our keys, and for the very last round, we will be in D major. This is for you dolls who are in two octaves, so you can do a harder variation. So I wanna make sure to include those at the end of this exercise. So for this last round, we are going to be playing constantly four slurred eighth notes, all the way up, and all the way down in D major. I believe in you, Chelly believes in you, and I think you're gonna rock it. So just a little pep talk there. Don't expect yourself to play every exercise perfectly on the first try, okay? We are human, and you can visit this video as many times as you want. Now, a couple quick tips. This exercise does include eighth notes, the smallest note value. So even though we have eighth notes, they are always in slurred groups of four. So I want you dolls to make sure you still use a nice full bow and don't get stuck into something teeny tiny just because they're eighth notes, okay? So just a nice, easy, flowing bow, remembering to keep the elbow down so you can sink into the string with your natural body weight no suspended elbows. So enough chit chat, let's get to the exercise. That is what you dolls are here for. This is your part three for your scale cycle exercise for beginners. Good luck.
this video and play along with us. Once again, I am the Cello Doll and you can find me here on YouTube, of course, as well as Instagram and Facebook. Please subscribe so you can see my regular tips and tricks, vlogs, and music videos. Thank you guys so much again and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye!